Hello guys, Mike here and today we have a rather unusual comparison as we're going to put side by side two tablets that might look identical but are actually miles apart. We have the Asus VivoTab Smart here running Windows 8 and next to it there is the Asus MimoPad Smart with Android on board. So let's see who's going to come on top. Aesthetically, these two tablets are very very close. Both offer 10 inch screens, thus are about the same in terms of size and weight and both pack smooth plastic bellies thus kind of feel identical when hold and use. Even the ports and buttons are mostly the same with some small exceptions. For instance, the Mimo Pad offers two powerful speakers on the back as opposed to the single speaker on the Vivo tab. On the other hand, the Windows Slate does pack a better rear shooter with flash but let's be real here, who cares about that anyway? Even the screens are nearly the same on the two slates, as we're talking about 10.1 inch displays and IPS panels in both cases. But on the Vivo tab, there's this 16x9, 1366 by 768 pixel resolution screen, while on the Mimo pad, there's a 16x10, 1280 by 800 pixel resolution one. You'll hardly feel the difference between them during everyday use, although texts are sharper and smoother on the Vivo tab, but that's thanks to Microsoft's clear type technology embedded within Windows. Alright, so we've seen till now that these two tablets are nearly twins, with only minor differences between them. However, when it comes to the hardware inside and the software they run, the Mimo tab and the Vivo tab are miles apart. For starters, the Mimo tab is running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on a Tegra 3 processor with 1GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. On the other hand, the Vivo tab is running a full version of Windows 8 on an Intel Atom Z processor with 2GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Techies will immediately know that the Intel Atom CPU is built on the standard x86 architecture, which means that the Vivo tab Smart is going to be compatible with both touch-friendly apps from the Windows Store, but also with most of your regular software you've been running on your Windows PC or laptop. The Mimo tab will only be compatible with Android apps available in the Google Play Store. But that's not necessarily an issue when it comes to touch-optimized applications, as the Android ecosystem has grown a lot in the last years. The Windows Store, however, well, it's pretty barren, and with a handful of exceptions, most of the apps available here are either basic or just bad. And here's where the desktop mode on the Vivo tab comes in play. iPhone 1 see the Mimo Pad, like all the other above-average Android slates right now, as a proper multimedia device. You can use them for gaming, browsing, watching movies, listening to music. But if you're planning on putting up some work, writing some text, editing some photos, creating a presentation or a complex spreadsheet, well, good luck with that on Android. On the Vivo tab though, since it runs Windows, you can install Office or Photoshop, you can get a good file manager and an excellent multitasking environment. So in other words, you get something else. In order to help you with your tasks, Asus bundles the VivoTab Smart with a Bluetooth keyboard and a matching smart cover that works as a stand, but to be frank, you can use such accessories on the Mimo Pad as well. So when comparing these two slates, it's all about what you can do with them. For sofa use, Android is superior because of its mature ecosystem that will give you access to more apps, content and games. If you're not that much into gaming and need a tablet for browsing and multimedia content plus the extras offered by the full Windows experience, the Vivo tab is probably the better pick. However, don't expect it to be as snappy as a modern laptop or PC. The hardware inside, while decently capable for everyday activities, is built for efficiency, not for performances. And that's why the Vivo tab Smart runs cool and completely quiet, exactly like the Android tablet does, plus can go for between 6 to 10 hours on a charge or for days in standby, once again similar to what you're getting with the Mimo pad. Those being said, except for the more powerful ecosystem in its backpack, it really looks like the Vivo tab is the more capable tablet here. But it is also significantly more expensive than its rival, as it starts at $499 while the Mimo tab is selling for around $350 or even less. And that kind of complicates the whole story. Trying to keep it simple though, once again, think about what you need from your tablet. If you want a potential replacement for your laptop, then go for the Vivo tab. But if it's mainly a multimedia device you crave for, the cheaper Mimo tab is going to be the better option. Anyway, time to wrap up for today. Let me know what do you guys think about these two Asus tablets and please tell me in the comments down below which of them would you choose and why. And of course, if you found this clip useful, please make sure to share it and also if you're not already subscribed to our channel, maybe you can do that too. 
Until next time, take care.